Hey, this is Drew Baird from Moon Audio, and we're here today to answer our questions from Text Tuesday. And what we posed to you guys was, you know, tell, tell us a little more about uh, a way to improve our systems with DAX and how to DAC work, how does a DAC work, et cetera, et cetera. And so it's amazing in today's world how many products out there have DAX in them now. Computers, iPads, phones, even your Samsung, t uh, Samsung uh, refrigerator in your kitchen that's got that display, it's got a DAC in it. Not that we're going to be using any of these DACs with your refrigerator, but here is a good, easy way to improve your sound, and you don't have to spend a million bucks, okay? Um, and what is a DAC? A DAC is a digital-to-analog converter. And essentially, it is a translator. Think about translating from Spanish to English or so forth. In other words, you've got a digital data stream uh, that's ones and zeros. It's put through a, a D to A converter chip, and it's converted to an analog signal that an amplifier and a speaker driver, either in your home speakers or your headphones, will understand. So just think of it as a translator. I don't want to get too technical into it, but that's a simple, a simple answer as to what a DAC does. And, and we've got a couple of examples here, which are great bangs for the buck. Like I said, you don't have to spend a million dollars. Um, they all work sort of universally with all kinds of different products. Um, I've got uh, my laptop here with a, uh, a Claris Audio Coda USB dongle DAC. Um, it's probably, of the three I'm going to show you right now, one of my favorites. It's the best sounding. It is a little more expensive than the other ones coming in at $300. But it offers some features and some uh, digital circuitry that just sounds better than some of the other items. Uh, you, you'll notice with this device that you, you get an actual volume control on the dongle. And this dongle can be used not just with your computer, but with your tablet, your iPad, your phone, whatever. Um, and a brilliant thing that they've done that nobody else has sort of done, and this is the most complicated thing, is you don't have to deal with any kind of drivers with a Windows machine with a Claris Coda. That, is, that makes it so much easier. You don't have to worry about drivers getting corrupt over time, which can happen a lot of times with DACs. They make it simple. All of the information that the drivers required is held in the, on a chip in the Coda. It makes it simple. They've also done a wonderful, wonderful job. If you go to our product page, there's a bunch of PDFs. So no matter what sort of um, streaming service you're using, whether a Tidal, Cobas, Rune, Windows, Mac, phone, etc. They've got a PDF for each one giving you some advice on how to use each one of them. I give them a big uh, thumbs up for that because they're doing a little more to make it easier for you. Then I'm also showing here a uh, Oris uh, Audio, the uh, Eagle, which is also, you know, they're all tend to be with a USB-A connection like the Claris. And I'm using it here with an Apple CCK uh, dongle so that you can use it with your iPhone. This can also be used like the Claris with a computer. It's a little bit cheaper at $99. It's, it's really good for the money. Is it to the level of the Coda? No, but we're talking about trying to get the best sound possible for a lower price. And this is a great option for portable. I mean, it, it sounds much better than the dongle that Apple provides you. I don't have an example of one of those right now, but that thing is so teeny and they've actually got a DAC and an amp in that cable and it breaks nonstop. I've got three girls at home and we keep basically an entire closet full of them because they don't want to deal, even though the, the Eagle or the Claris Audio is really small, they don't want to deal with any kind of thing that's got a dongle that's a little bit bigger. So we keep a bunch of those in stock because they break all the time. They don't sound that great. They're good for IMs, but they really can't drive any headphones. And that's another thing about these uh, USB dongle DACs is they have a really good amount of power. They're not going to obviously drive a Hi-Fi Man Seuss Vara, but they're going to drive your typical headphones very, uh, relatively well. And the most powerful of these three uh, is the Coda again. Then you'll see here we've got the Astle and Kern device, and it's actually got a attached USB-C dongle connection, which works great with... Android devices, iPad Pros now. I sure wish Apple would start using this USB-C on their phones. Hopefully, maybe sometime in the future. Um, this one is priced at $149. Um, also an excellent, excellent uh, sounding uh, uh, DAC. It's actually got two DAC chips in it, two Cirrus Logics, while the other two are using Sabre Pros. The Sabres tend to sound a little more analytical in detail. I would say the Aslan Kern's a little more on the neutral side, but obviously it's going to come down to the sound signature of the headphones that you're using. Um, 
but but as you can see, you know these these aren't super expensive. We got a ninety nine dollar, a one fifty, a three hundred dollar. This is probably the most economical way to improve the sound of your system. And these don't have to be just used as a headphone amp. You can get a mini to RCA cable to go from one of these to plug into your stereo at home. So it's got a lot of uses. It's very flexible, affordable, easy to use. Like I said, especially with the Coda with all their manuals. I think you could really benefit from one of these dongle jacks. So I hope this has been useful information for you and stay tuned for next Tuesday's tech question.